The following video has been pre-recorded. This video was recorded late Thursday evening. As of the making of this video, I am currently in Nashville, Tennessee on vacation. So please enjoy this video. What's up guys? So I was finally able to get the lighting right and it's because it's late or it's sort of dark outside. So like I said in the beginning, I am currently in Nashville, Tennessee on vacation. Um, I was not able to take any figures at all on the plane. So that's why I'm filming Weekly Customs right now. It sucks that I, ha that I have not been able to take these with to Tennessee, but it's better to get this video out there. So like I said, this is pre-recorded and let's just get this thing started. So as you can see here, we have New Japan Pro Wrestling Sensation the ace of the universe, the once in a century ace, Hiroshi Tanahashi. Or in Japanese, Tanahashi Hirochi, which is pretty much just the same thing, just backwards. So let's get a look at the ace of the universe. And let's just put him right here because, like, over here, his skin looks orange. So let's start. So for the head scan, I used a Yoshitatsu head scan. It's the closest thing you can get to Tanahashi. Some of the parts I painted gold by using folk art metallic pure gold there was a line here that i did have to paint up i did have to repaint the eyebrows uh the body is gamestop exclusive uh i think it was retro fest macho man that i just added the custom designs on it is chipping away so i gotta retouch up some of the stuff uh rick flair defining moments knee pads that i custom painted this says ace on one knee pad and then one over a hundred meaning like once in a century and i do like this uh the lines here i did go in black uh these lines here are red white same red white going all around this is a nice easy fix up though he's never really worn this this is more of a fantasy attire and plus this will go great for his all-in match that i have booked with okada because that, that will be pretty good. And also, to go with this Tanahashi... Here, I'm going to do it over here. Considering he is not the champion anymore, but he did beat Kenny Omega, if he will stand up... Come on, Tanahashi, stand up. I do have the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. Actually, we're, let's let's do this over here. So it's a lot better. And here is the ace with the all-powerful IWGP heavyweight championship now this title is held by kazuchika okada i'm pretty sure he'll be defending this against tanahashi at all in i'm not sure but yeah this belt does look pretty good on him but then again this belt looks pretty good with almost everybody but tanahashi's held this title a record i don't know how many times he's held this but it's a record he had 12 defenses until okada beat that record by beating tanahashi in his 12th title defense and his 13th he lost it to kenny omega or was it uh, his 14th i don't know i haven't caught up with new japan since omega left after wrestle kingdom but yeah that's this week's weekly customs let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below while well, i am enjoying tennessee there might be some videos on that there might not be but considering that or when this video gets out i'm not sure so, yeah. Let me guys know what you think about this. I will probably use this in all in. I'm not going to do any other customizations. So, th that's the video. Drop a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the, in the next video. And go Ace!